What's going on, people? It's your boy, Brother Winston, with another video. Today, we are reacting to episode 13. I'm telling you, they pushing these things out. I think they had one, like, what, three or four days ago? Another pop the balloon and find love with Arla Amuli. We do it different than the other guys. We got to score, okay? Ladies got to score. They start out with a 100. Every mistake or a fraction brings them down by five points. If they do something that really makes sense, that's, that has to be applauded, the score goes up, okay, by five points or so, okay? Some infractions, some mistakes, okay, some flags on the play can make the score go down by 10 points. Okay? If it's that serious. Y'all going to see what we talked about last time. They were they were like at 67 percent or something like that. It wasn't that good. The men got, got to like 73. They weren't doing, doing that good either. So it's a bunch of ladies and the men are the guests. Let's get into it. Okay, I like that, that outfit, Arlette. I see you, I see you. Also, let me say this real quick, y'all. This is a reaction video, okay? That means I'm reacting to what's going on. So for some people that watch this video, you think that I'm just going to sit back and watch the whole thing and bootleg it. No, this is a reaction video, okay? Because I can see people now, oh, why are you talking? That's what the, the purpose of this video is for, okay? I got to say, I see this every time I put a video, people will say, why is he talking? It's a reaction video, y'all. That's what this is about, okay? If you want to watch her video, which I advise people to do also, okay, because I want to take viewers from her, okay, then go watch her video, okay? Pop the balloon and find love. But we're here to react to it. We're here to have a discussion about it. It's not it's just watching it, okay? It will be illegal for me to just watch her video and take funds from her like, like that. I can't, legally cannot do that, okay? Let's continue. I feel like I, I'm, I'm almost humping this. I don't I don't know this girl because of course like <laughs> I'm in Philly near Arizona, but I know somebody look just like this. Girl. Somebody's nice dressed like that. That's one of the best dresses I've seen on the show actually. Okay, that's different too. Okay, cool. I like that. Okay. Let's see if she gonna start spinning that mic like I always say that they gotta do for some reason. Let's see if she spins it, y'all. Not yet. There she go again, y'all. There she go again. Okay. So she be a model. I do the fit check. Dress could be a little lower on her, but outside that, very nice. Okay. Okay. Her other girl from the beginning could be related. Save time and money. Okay, we're gonna skip past the. Right, we're gonna skip past the um the ads. I think this is a ad I can't skip. Um, yeah, y'all. Let me know in the comments how y'all feel about this. The women, y'all at a hundred percent right now. So let's see how this goes. Last show, I think we had the guy who the woman was saying like a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Very interesting show to say the least. Okay, y'all wanna check out their score. Check that show out, okay, on my channel. We do this so that people can gain if, uh, understanding and knowledge about relationships, okay, which you, you will see. Okay, let's continue. We are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And today we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and be bringing out some single men. They're going to come out. Oh, so this is crazy. Oh, look at these hills. If y'all can see my, my, my cursor, let me see y'all can see this one, y'all. My phone. Let me turn my camera. Um, let me make my my camera a little small. I don't know why I said that one big. There we go. As long as I'm on the floor, is never gonna make it smaller. Go. Oh. All right. But look right here. You see, see next to my face, those hills right there with the one with the green dress. Those is crazy. Gotta give it that. Try to give compliments when I can. Let's continue. one by one and when he comes around you know if he's your type you know the height you know beard facial hair whatever it is you're feeling him do not pop your balloon but if there's anything that's just like oh no this is not my guy go ahead and pop it and i'll go over to each of you see why you ended up popping y'all ready 
Okay, let's get some matches. So let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's Hello. your name? My name is Alistair. Alistair, how old are you? I'm 36 years old. 36, okay, and what do you do? I'm a deputy sheriff. All right, okay, and what are some things you like to do for fun? I like to travel. I like to go on trips. Okay. <laughs> and now what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, someone that's intelligent, very laid back, knows what she wants, mm -hmm. can allow me to lead. Okay. And now what are some of your deal breakers? I like his confidence. They popping in balloons. He just he ain't doing anything wrong. Now, I don't blame the ladies because if somebody's not your type, you should pop the balloon. Don't waste their time. So, can't blame them yet. You can see that there's no no attraction. Right? They're just not your type, definitely. You know, I can understand it. My deal breakers will be smokers. Mm. That's the number one thing, okay. smokers. Got it. Okay. So we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over to these ladies and see why they ended up popping. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's start over here. If we can have your name and age. Alexis, and I'm 29. And Alexis, what do you do? I'm a realtor. Okay. Nice. Now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, he just didn't really seem like too much my type, and um, I don't know about the police, honestly. <laughs> okay, okay. But you're an attractive man, so, you know, no thank hard you, feelings. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. All right, and now, Alistair, is Alexis someone that's your type? Of course, very attractive, very beautiful. It is someone that I will approach. Okay, thank right. you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be on the show. If I was on, I'll be on it like, yeah, they all right. <laughs> they wouldn't have me on that show. I'll be just like, they are all right, they are. <laughs> That's the dudes in Philly would say. People like, they are all right, they are all right. They ain't never want to have a show like this here. I'm trying to tell you, it'd be old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on to our next pop balloon over here. Okay, if we can have your name and age. My name is Tiffany, and I'm 26 years old. Okay. And Tiffany, what do you do? I am an exotic dancer, but I use my money from exotic dancing to fund my business ventures. Ooh. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. It's the first time I ever heard that before on this show. Let's continue. And now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, first of all, he said that he don't, you know, like smokers. I'm a big smoker. Okay. And I don't think, you know, the police and an exotic dancer would mix. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I like the way you're built. You know, I like the age. I'm, I'm into older men. Mm. So. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. I got to get a guy this. Okay. All jokes aside. It's crazy how because he's doing some job, I think you say he do security or police, whatever he's doing, that that's making people pop. When in reality, being a cop, there's nothing wrong with being a cop at all. Are there bad cops out there? Yes. But that doesn't mean that he's a bad cop. If there were no cops, how would we have security on our streets? Okay, people love to call the cops when they need them. You know what I mean? I've encountered many bad cops, but at the same time, all cops are not bad. That is not going to make, all the bad cops that profiled me and all kind of stuff that I went through, I still don't believe that all cops are like that. That's, that's just with those cops. You know what I mean? So, it's just crazy that, that that's how they're treated. Though I didn't know that, but it's just crazy to see this like live like this, okay? And now, Alistair, is uh, Tiffany someone that's your type? Of course. Very beautiful, very attractive. So definitely Thank someone you. I'll approach. Okay, got it. So she's an exotic dancer, please don't mix. Is, is, that, <laughs> <laughs> is that something that would stop you from approaching her if you knew that? No. Okay. No, this is perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Okay. If we can have your name and age. Yes. Hi. I'm C and I'm 36. And C, what do you do? I'm in medical sales. Okay. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? Okay. Um, well, I just have to give it to you. You were the first guy to come out and I know that we can only pick one guy. So I'm just waiting. So. Okay. But is he? I like that outfit. I like how that is i never saw something like just like that the way it covers her chest like that that's kind of cool could be a little high when, when it comes to up here if y'all can let me see how see this like i always say it's not necessary for women to show you know i should not to see it's not necessary for a man who you're not really your, 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 um, your husband to really be seeing the crack in your chest like the crack in your butt um uh, I don't know if she really has that big of a chest in the first place. Not trying to make fun of saying it. That's just what it's looking like here. But um, that out, but so I would probably, probably better to have that a little higher. Like the, the, the outfit itself and then have made it a little wide, a little, just a little higher like overall. 
Come to the chest part, but outside of that, that's a really, really crazy design. It's really, really cool. Is someone that is your type? Um, maybe if I got to know him a little bit better, but you know, right now I'm just waiting. Okay. All right. So, uh, Alistair, is she someone that is your type? A very respectable individual. Looks like you can have a great conversation, and I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go on to our next lady. If we can have your name and age. My name is Nkiru and I'm 32 years old. Okay. And what do you do? I work with a pharmaceutical company as a monitor. Okay, very nice. And now why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I don't know. He's just not my type. Like, just, I don't know. If I'm busy enough of looks, he's just not my type. Okay. And what about him is not really your type? Um. Why do they ask that? Huh? He's just not my type. And what is it? Is it that he's butt ugly? I mean, can you please? <laughs> I respect this show. I just, this is crash me up every time they ask just this certain question. I'm like, why don't y'all just let them keep going? Why do y'all always have to ask even more? I know, of course, they're going to, they'll probably say, it's crazy conversation, isn't that? But also can create a lot of problematic conversation too, which I think it has already done before. But I don't know. It can also hurt people's feelings unnecessarily. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get to you. Uh, I don't really know. I just, I just don't feel the connection. Okay. Yes. Okay. And now, same thing, Alistair. Is she someone that you would approach? Uh, she's very respectable, very beautiful. I believe all the women here are beautiful. Mm. Okay. All right. Hi. We're visible. Let's go on to our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Danielle, and I'm 35. Danielle, what do you do? I work at Human Resources. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, honestly, it's because of the police. Oh. <laughs> Again, wow. Crazy. Okay, so apart from him being a police officer, he is someone that is your type? Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily go off of like, uh, looks per se, so if we had a conversation, maybe. Okay, but all right. He's the police. <laughs> Okay, Alistair, I know you said everyone's beautiful, but is she someone that's your type? If you saw her out, you'd approach her? Uh, yes, I will approach her. Okay, and how we see this police thing is taking you out. Like, is that ever a problem when it comes to dating? I uh, know law enforcement is a very, you know, skeptical career to be in. Yeah. Um, I respect everyone. I joined this career because this was a calling for me. Yeah. And I like what I do. Okay, good. I'm a protector. So if you need someone to protect you, I'm someone to protect you. Period. <laughs> All right, let's go back this way. We did get up. That's what I'm saying. I'm just like, <laughs> I I don't really get, I don't, I think it's, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's crazy. I will say this, though. When I was much younger, I did kind of think that way. I thought, like, I could never date a woman that's in law enforcement. But then I was like, you know what? It's a job at the end of the day. It's like anything else. You know, it's a job. You know what I mean? And it's a respectable job where you're helping people. Some women, not all women, but some women would go over a guy that sells dope over a guy, literally a guy that sells dope over a guy <laughs> that will protect you from a person that, that is selling it and is trying to destroy your community. I just don't understand that. You understand? I don't understand that. Pop, if we can have your name and age. Caprice, 32. Okay. And Caprice, what do you do? I am a certified Christian life coach. Okay. And now why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just initially, it just wasn't enough bass in your voice. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Alistair, I feel like I know what you're about to say, <laughs> but <laughs> you approach her if you see her out? Um, I'm respectable to everyone. I give everyone a chance to get to know you, sit down, have a conversation, let you know my goals in life, and I see your goals in life. And if we do match, we take it further from there. Very confident. Could I get everyone back here? Oh, 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 okay. We do have one more pop balloon back here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Lexi and I'm 27. I will say one thing I think that he could do better, all jokes aside. I mean, I think it really would help him. I don't know if it would have made all of not pop, but it could help him. It's the way that he's standing. It's almost like his arm is stuck, stuck in his pocket. It's just like he has just like a just like a stance where it's just his arms are not like this of course but it's just a stance where everything is just you know it's not a lot of movement it's not you know what i mean he's not really even showing himself in my opinion um showing the type of confidence that he has when he has his arm just in his pocket like that you know what i mean uh like the woman said it's not a base in his voice he can't control that 
You can't say, it's not like you said, I don't want to have any bass in my voice. I want to have a high pitched voice or something like that. You can't control that. But you can control, you know, how you walk. You, you can't control uh, your overall body mannerisms, okay? And people will look at that and try to gauge your, your um, courage and all that kind of stuff. And if you're that type of guy, you know what I'm saying? So that's something that I think he could have um, fixed. Lexi, what do you do? I am a full-time biomedical science student and a birth doula. Okay, and now why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, um, unlike everybody else, like the police thing didn't really bother me. Mm. But I like that outfit. I think she should have something under it, though. Okay, near her legs. So it looked like some, a wind will blow. You can see right up there. But I'm sure she has something under there. But it's not just, you know, I'm sure she's not just naked. But still, it does kind of, it's definitely showing a lot. Especially on a dating show uh, where, you know, you don't want a guy to think that you're fast or sleazy. Uh, but outside that's pretty nice. That's definitely a nice outfit. But like as I like kind of walked, it was like kind of like the haircut in the back is like not fully cut. Mm. And then the chap lips. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of a okay. thing for me. So <laughs> yeah. I got it. Okay. Some people do have almost like a chap lip <laughs> syndrome. I feel like some folks Hey, what's up on your lips? And your lips will always look like that, but I don't know. <laughs> Alistair? <laughs> <laughs> we all already know I'm your a, lines by now. <laughs> I'm respectable to criticism. That's, that's, you know, that's who I am as a person. You know, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. Like I'm going to say, is like, I got to say, it's like if I saw this woman, let's say like this woman's not my type, for example, right? But let's say that she was my type and she was, and one, and one was wearing that. I didn't know her. I wouldn't even talk to her because she has nothing she just has that thing, and it's literally like that high. It's like it seems like there's nothing under there, at least from these different angles. That alone will have me like, nah, because if you're gonna wear that outside, all right, it's just it's just so many reasons why that would be a no no. And some women think this is gonna help me. No, it doesn't. It only helps you if you want to get a guy that's gonna sleep with you real fast. Okay, I don't think these women want that type of guy, so they're on a dating show. Okay, so I don't know. I just feel like that's something that people. Should, I don't see how some women don't see that. Okay. And this goes for all men, okay? Even the bad guys, when they see you like that, if they see another woman that's dressed more uh, modestly and, and, that's, and that's also bad, they will look at her first. I guarantee you that. Even the, even the worst guy, they will look at you only if they're trying to get a hookup real quick. I'm trying to tell you. you know, I'm from the Caribbean, so we're used to criticism. And, but, you know, you're a beautiful individual, and I'm thankful for having me out here, and you all are very beautiful. Thank you. I'm a very respectful person. Thank you. And then we did get one last one down here. All right, if we can have your name and age. Kiana, 32. And Kiana, what do you do? Um, well, I'm in the health health field, mm -hmm. CNA, also in real estate. I got to take they, 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 they score down my file. I should have probably brought down more than that, but I'm taking down my file because people saying that because he's a cop. That's no, no. Come on now. And I'm the supervisor at a... A shoe store so okay. yeah very nice very busy <laughs> and now why did you end up popping your balloon um i just felt like sticking to the code you know i didn't have no problem with the law enforcement and whatnot but i don't know just feel like i should be sticking to a code or you know okay. what do you mean by sticking to the code <laughs> just that's honestly like you know i just felt like everybody kind of reminded me and whatnot so yeah that's just life. So. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm a little confused. It reminded you of what? <laughs> no. Um That's right, Arla. Ask them questions. Now I'm on her side. Ask those questions, Arla, for sure. I, I want you to ask more questions. Because, you know, I'm just mentioning about him being in law enforcement. And um, so I just felt, although I don't see it as a problem, there's always been a history behind it. Mm. So I just would just follow that. I, see. I don't follow too many, but I'll follow that. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, Alistair, is she someone that you would approach if you saw her out? Yeah, I'm very respectable for every individual that I meet. I'm very respectable. Got it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All right. Let's go on back. So, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons popped, but we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's give it up thank for him, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, Maya, these people travel to come to this show they pay gas money to come to this show i don't i think they have to, they have to you know they dress they're not they don't have outfits for them they have to you know get something nice to wear 
they come here imagine coming to a show and because of your job which is not any kind of bougie job it's a good job you literally almost everybody says your job is a no-no and that is crazy 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 now some women may say well it wasn't like he was like that it was like he was a you know uh, Idris Elba type guy, you look at him, and, and I understand that, but they but they opened their mouth and they said that it was a cop thing. I mean, I'm not making this up. This is what they said. I, I mean, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. We got it better. Let's continue. Let's continue, y'all. I've been wanting to give people a high score, but y'all see what I, what, I, what I have to deal with. I mean, I'm y'all see what I got to deal with, people. I have to really try. Hey, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? I'm Will. Sorry? Will. Will, okay, Will, how old are you? I'm 31. <laughs> I think the woman popped the balloon because because she couldn't hear what he said when he said Will. I don't know, I could be wrong. It just seemed like that. I'm sure she maybe she did, he wasn't in her type, let's say. I gotta give it to I gotta give it to the guy too. That that's one of them old old head shirts, but he making that work. I gotta give it my man Will that. That's all. He wearing an old head shirt and he making it work in 2024. I got that is something else. Crazy. Well, I just turned 31 about three weeks ago. Oh, he's 31 years old. Wow. Hey, okay, all right. And what do you do, Will? I am a civil litigation paralegal in the last semester of law school. Okay, congrats. Almost done. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, I look for someone that is revealing. I don't like someone too shy or uh, reserved. It's a little bit tough to get to know. Okay. I also like a, uh, a progressive woman and uh, someone kind. Not just... Okay. And now what are some of you? She was a Republican or something. <laughs> Your deal breakers. Uh... Someone unkind. Someone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's the exact same thing I say. Can't stand being around women that's unkind. I broke up with people, but I broke broken up with people because they were unkind to, to to strangers. I really have. Okay. People that were waiting on us and things like that, and they just were always nasty, unkind. I said, Nah, I can't stand that. You got to go. That's a real thing. Yeah, uh, I'm a pretty. Uh, I have standards, but I don't have. Uh, two. I'm a pretty chill guy. Got it. I like a, a normal, normal person. Okay. All right, cool. So we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over to those ladies and see what's yes, going on. All right, if we can have your name and age. I surmise they're going to try to say it's because he's short. I think that's what they're going to say, but let's see, y'all. Alexis, I'm 29. Okay. And Alexis, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just feel like the physical attraction wasn't too much there. Like, I think we almost the same height. Mm. How <laughs> I knew she was, you know what I, I'll be trying I I looked at her I was like why is she going to say we all from the same pipe I said you know what I'm going to give her a chance and she literally said this is what I thought she was going to say let's continue people now I was saying not the same height okay she said almost I don't know let's continue but I can't blame her because that's that's, that's her preference okay I, that's her preference how tall are you I'm 5'8 oh okay well, I guess these <laughs> heels are doing something but a little too short for my liking, but okay. you look good. Well, so thank you, thank you, thank you. And how tall are you? I'm five feet. <laughs> she five feet. This dude is five eight, and she's saying they're similar height. You know what? Let's continue. Let's get. I just looked out. So once again, all jokes aside, she does have her own preference. Can't blame her for that. The score is the same. Okay, they're looking good for now. Let's continue. But I mean, we look a little level, kind of. Mm, okay. <laughs> now, Will, is, uh, is she someone that is your type? Oh, that was like, stop saying. <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. She, she's very beautiful. Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay. I'll be on the show like, nah, nah, it ain't my type. Every time somebody see me, I'll be like, nah, nah. I'll be like, listen, sorry to break it to you, but you know, you ain't all that. You, 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 you decide. You decide. It came out that show so quick. All right, let's go on to our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age. I'm Lexi and I'm 27. Okay, and Lexi, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I popped it because he said that he wanted someone that was easy to get to know. And I am a little bit hard to get to know. Um, aside from that, like he's really handsome and like the height didn't really bother me either. But 
I am a little bit hard to get to know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't mean, uh, well, if I could explain. Of so I, I don't mean uh, anyone that is, uh, I guess, available to anybody. Of course, you have to be selective. But as far as dating, you do want to get to know somebody. And dating is already a bit of a task in itself. So That's to true. add those unnecessary um, boundaries, it's, it's a bit difficult to deal with. Understandable. Okay. <laughs> and now, is she someone that is your type? Yes, definitely. I like tall women, too. So. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go on over to our next pop balloon. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. Caprice, 32. Okay. And Caprice, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, He said he liked tall women. I'm clearly fun-sized. Oh, my God. I'll... You know he didn't mean it like <laughs> that. <laughs> It is what it is, I mean. Okay. <laughs> so apart from him saying that, is he someone that is your type, though? Uh, yes, he's attractive, nice teeth, very beautiful smile, love the color scheme. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Now, is she someone that is your type? This one, definitely. Mm. She, she, she. I think she made a mistake because when he, she heard him say, uh, I like tall women, he didn't say I only date tall women. You know what I mean? She should have thought about that, you know? I don't know. I think that she popped it also because she was afraid of being popped. I mean, when she heard him say that, that's the real, real reason why she popped it. But she still should have had confidence in well. You know, let the person say no. Instead of saying, oh, well, which, 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 which we've seen before men do somehow on these shows where guys, I think it was the last show, the guy was like, I thought she was going to pop my balloon, so I just popped it. Like, you serious? You know what I mean? Wait and see if it happens, you know? Uh, it's been plenty of times where I've been told no by women they ain't want to go with me, but. I'd rather be told no than to say, oh, they're probably going to say no, and they, and they wouldn't say no. You understand? There's plenty of women who I've been with, had relationships with, great relationships, okay, and they're friends this very day. And um, I didn't think they were going to say, they wanted to, they were, I didn't know, and I wasn't sure if they would want to go with me, okay? And it didn't seem likely, but they did, okay? They did want to go with me, and they were excited to, 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 to be dating me, okay? So you never really know. You never, you never know what's in the mind of somebody else, you understand what I'm saying? She pretty fly. I like that. Okay, very cool. I like the tattoo. Thanks. Mm, okay, so I mean, you did say he is your type. You kind of misheard him a little bit when he said he said he doesn't mind tall women. He don't discriminate against height. Okay, I'll give him another try. Oh, okay, let's get that balloon back. Let's give her a hand. I'm gonna give her a hand. I'm actually gonna raise him up by two points because of that. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we'll be back for you. <laughs> Let's go to our next lady, if we can have your name and age. I'm C, and I'm 36. Okay. And C, why did you pop your balloon? I would just prefer a guy that's just a little bit taller. Okay. All right. Now, is C someone that's your type? Yes, ma'am. Very, very beautiful skin. She pretty fly. Yeah, I like, she, she got some style to her, too. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I told you all, that dress is crazy. That dress is nice. Let's go to our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Nkira and I'm 32. Okay. And Nkira, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, same thing as well for her. Like, same thing she said. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Just the height difference. Mm, yes. okay. Got it, got it. Now, is she someone that you would approach if you saw her out? Yes, ma'am, I would. Okay. I would. All right. And so what makes her kind of your type? Uh, like I said, I don't, I don't mind a uh, height or anything like that. She's very beautiful. She looks well put together as well. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. If we can have your name and age, I'm Danielle, and I'm 35. And Danielle, why did you pop your balloon? I don't particularly want a short king either, <laughs> but I do think he's very handsome. Okay. Everything about him is really spot on. Just I just, thank you. I'm five seven, so we about the same height. So. <laughs> So, but okay, got it. No, I feel like I know what you're about to say, but I'm gonna still ask anyway. Is she someone that's your type? Yes, ma'am. Out of culture. Okay, okay. And what makes her your type? Uh, she pretty, pretty nice build. She got a nice smile. Ladies, I gotta say this. Okay, I can understand if you're much taller than somebody. Sometimes it can be an issue, especially even when y'all are dating. Like me, for example, I'm like, well, I don't date women that are really, really short because. If they're really short, just just to kiss them, you have to actually pick them up like they're a child. That's not something that's attractive to, to, to a lot of people, okay? But if, like she said, y'all are the same height, okay? If y'all are the same height, height, like what do you really, I don't know, I just feel like, at that point, like even if, if 
Because some people may say, oh, well, you know, when, you, when there's a big height difference, even in bed, you know, people get intimate, it's, it's, it's a, it could cause certain issues or whatever, or you may not like that. Y'all are the exact same height. So it's like, what do you really want? I, mean, I, I don't know. I just think that's just, I mean, I know everybody has their own pre- preferences, which, preference, which I, which I keep saying, but I feel like it's uh, some of these stipulations that women have keep them from good people. You know what I mean? And it's something that really wouldn't affect you in a negative way, negative way when you think about it. Unless they want a taller man because they want to, they want to keep up with the other women and, and basically say, look, my man is, is dark, tall, and handsome or whatever. Oh, now, he, your man is dark dark and handsome, but he's not tall. So, therefore, because, you know, they, they're tall is not there, now they can't, you know, shine on the other lady. I, I just feel like, I don't, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if that's what, what's really going on. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a man, I don't know what goes on in the mind of a woman, like a woman would, but it makes you wonder if that's the case. But if that's the case, it's, just, it's kind of a shame because most of the people, like the men that come on these shows are very, very, um, they're like the, the, they're like the pick of the litter. Even the women, you know, it's sometimes women that ain't, ain't dumb on the show. The women that you see on the show, if you go out, you know, in, in any like regular urban city, Chicago or Philly, like I'm like, I'm, like where, where we are, or, uh, you know, Atlanta or other places, it's a lot of people that you have to sift through to find these type of folks, okay? A lot of folks on these on these shows have all kind of great jobs and all kind of stuff. They're doing all kind of stuff with their life. Um, and I'm sure this show probably is very careful in who they pick, okay? So that this show can, you know, put the best together with the best and have matches. So, as I said, things like that, you know, some of these women I think what's going to happen is that they're going to leave the show and go back out on the streets and they're going to think to themselves, I did not, I, I deny that guy for such a small thing. And now I'm having a hard time finding. I have to go through like 200 minutes just to find one guy like it. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? No. Uh, she seems personable as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go to our next lady over here. Bro, you reek. One second, y'all. Eve. Kiana, 32. Okay. And Kiana, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, I mean, I seen him from afar, so I was thinking maybe he's not too short, uh, too short. Mm-hmm. And but then you know I'm five nine, and with heels I'm like okay. six one. So yeah, my apologies. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now Will, is she someone that is your type? Yes, ma'am, and I I wouldn't mind a height, but even with heels on, so. I know, but, but yeah. Oh just... no, no, I don't. I don't want to convince you to change answer, but. <laughs> oh no. No, no. Yeah. Well, thank you, though. Okay, Okay. thank you. All right, let's head back this way. So we still do have two unpopped balloons. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question just to kind of help you see which one is more of your match. Okay. Uh, So what do you ladies look for in a man? Mm. Okay, let's start with your name and age and what do you look for in a man? My name is Tiffany and I'm 26. And what I look for in a man is like a leader, a guider, someone who can give me knowledge and take from what I give them too. What do y'all think? And I want to say this real quick. What do y'all think about her? She says she's an exotic dancer. Um, I don't know if she said it to him yet, uh, yet or not, but um, what do y'all think about her being able to hold down a man being an exotic dancer? Okay. Um, I think that can definitely be problematic for a lot of men. Okay, I'm not trying to attack her in any way, but I had to say that. If you're showing your body to men all the time, most men, you know, want to enjoy that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wonder if she's considering, if she would consider to do a different a different line of work. I'm just wondering, you know. But let me know in the comments if y'all think that would be a problem. Also, someone who wants to build pretty much, yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. (laughs) We got your name and age earlier. So what are some things you look for in a man? What I look for in a man is a man of integrity, a man of character, a man that know how to cultivate the woman God called me to be, a man that know how to have a kind and gentle spirit, and know how to have fun. That's good. I like a woman with a little edge to it, too. So that's that's good. (laughs) Ladies, any questions for him? So what's most important to you, physical attraction or mental stimulation? Uh, mental stimulation, if I could. If I could uh. <laughs> That's a funny question, but at the same time, it's obviously like a setup. Like if a man said physical attraction, oh man, oh man, even if that was what they thought would ever say that, knowing that that's like a setup question, but I don't know. <laughs> Be a bit, uh, 
honest. Hopefully it don't sound too lewd. But uh, I think when in the future when I'm no longer, uh, say, as active as I am, I look for someone that I could talk about anything with and every nothing with. Okay. You good? Mm-hmm. Okay. What about for you? Do you mind a woman with kids? No, I don't. No, I guess I should have said that as well. I have a 10-year-old, so... Okay, if, and if the, this follow-up question, you only have one? Yeah. Okay, good. We don't need more than one baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have kids? Yes, I have a two-year-old. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations right. on to being a <laughs> All right. Any further questions before I have you pop one of them? Uh, oh, so I, I, I do live in, in Florida, so... Um, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that is far up there in Arizona. I ain't gonna lie. They should have had him say that in the beginning. I, all jokes aside, they really should have him say it again. That, that's way far away from um, Arizona. Come on now. Hey, so long distance. I'm guessing is a no. It's only because I really like. I'm I'm a I'm a clingy person. Like I'm right. very I'm a Gemini. I want to be loved. Like all I want all the attention. Okay. So it's kind of hard to do that when you're in far away. Mm, okay. Is that going to be a problem for you? It doesn't bother me. Oh. You live here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. You want to stay? Hmm? You want to stay? Independent if you give me a reason to leave. Okay. It's the best thing that she could have said. I'm actually going to give them a one. I'm going to get no. Go, they're scrolling around about one point for that type of answer. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me just bring you on up that was here. A good come answer. on up, come on up. <laughs> All right, so any final questions between the, either one of you before? Yeah. So, in this season of your life, what makes you believe that you're ready for love? Uh, because I have made myself available to it and my heart is open for it. I've done a, a, a lot of things in my life, a 10 year army vet as well, so I've been a, a lot, a lot of places. And I believe that I've accomplished most of the things I want to accomplish on my own. Okay, like that answer. Okay, so is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. Ah, is it a yes for you for her? Yes, ma'am. We got a match! I really respect that woman. All jokes, I really respect that woman for that because she asked the right questions, okay? This guy does not live around her. They, they should have, now he wasn't asked that, but. You know, I'm sure they would, they would never thought he was that far away. But that's a big, that's a huge deal to be that far away. You know what I mean? Um, I don't fault him because he's just responding to what they're asking him to do. They didn't ask him, where do you live? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, but that is kind of crazy. Some people will fall and say, you should have known to say that though, because you know that's super far. And I can see somebody saying that though. Uh, but still she was like well if you're gonna give me a reason to move i will move and, it, and this is a, extremely important that she says that because the reality is that you could find a match in another state that could happen it really could all right we can't just say oh well they're not they're not right near me okay if the love of your life is 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 at a distance y'all could come together and live together you never know you know what i mean so we can't just put walls up and say oh you know i want to do this i do that it's people that find truly it's people that find matches in other other countries all right, and the person moves to the U.S., that stuff really happens, you know what I mean? You'd be surprised. I know a woman that moved to um, Ghana, and she got married and moved to, um, to Ghana to, to meet her husband. She couldn't find her husband here, but she found him in, found him in Ghana. That's a, so that's a real thing. So people that are willing to do that type of stuff, I got to give them, you know, kudos for sure. Let's continue. <laughs> All right, I'll take this mic, and you guys can go on up. They're willing to do whatever they can to be with the right person if they see the person, you know, that, that's, that's definitely commendable. Turn and see, I got my applause. My applause for a second. That is crazy. I'm gonna find it for the commercial stop. Probably can't. Oh, well, let's just get back in this. I'll find it next time. I always tell I need that applause. I can't find it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold this. <laughs> What's your name? My name not the, <laughs> not the duffel bag. Remember the last guy, y'all been watching this show, the last guy that had a duffel bag, and the girl was like, you probably don't got nothing even inside of that bag. It's probably empty inside. Let's see what happens this time, y'all. 
Now the brother is dressed up. Everything's matching. Okay. He has he has a beard. I know a lot of women like a man with a beard. Uh-oh, but he got glasses on. Hopefully not sunglasses blocking his eyes. I know a lot of women don't like that on this show. Let's see what happens, y'all. Sorry, hold Sydney. the mic up. Sydney? Yes. Okay, Sydney, how old are you? I'm 35. 35, and what do you do? Um, I own a luxury car rental service. Okay. Um, and I also manage celebrity talent. Very cool. That's a nice spot. That's a nice outfit that my man got on. I think you got the Beijing in too, but okay, I see you. I see him. Some people, you know, Beijing work for them. I wonder how old he is. Cool. Yeah. Uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, I love someone that's in touch. They say that. Let me see it. Maybe they already said that. With their emotional intelligence. Someone who could connect with that. Um, I own a luxury. All right, let's go ahead and bring out. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. I'm fine. I, I, I'm trying to see how old my man is. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold this. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Eddie. Sorry, hold Sydney? the mic up. Sydney? Yes. Okay, Sydney, how old are you? I'm 35. 30. Okay, 35, I got it, okay. Five, and what do you do? Um, kind of see where that go. Got it, okay. Yeah. Now, what are some... I know a guy right now that has a, um... Well, does he have a car, luxury car? I think he has something like that. He has, like, luxury sprinter vans and stuff. This guy's got to make money. I mean, it's you make money in the same front. I'll tell you. He'll be picking up, like, um... Political, political figures, all kind of folks. And this guy used to work a regular job like you and me. Started that company and making, making major bread. So this guy is, I, I think this dude's probably making some, some real dough for real. Some things you like to do for fun. So I'm, I'm big on traveling. Mm. Um, I love shopping. Okay. Um, and I, I love to kind of really try different type of foods. Got it. So yeah. Okay. Yes. He said everything women, that women like to do. He said I like to shop. I like to travel. They always got in their, in their bio, you know. Uh, Love to travel. You need to travel. You know what I mean? He said everything right. Okay. Now, is he saying everything right because he's just trying to get somebody, or is that truly who he is? We'll see. Oh, let's continue. See, you big on shopping. You came out with the bag, everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm in my bag, and I'm full of surprises. I just want to uh -oh. make sure you know that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we did get a few pop balloons. Cool. Let's go on over there and see what's going on. Sure. I'll leave this here. Okay. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. My name is Lexi, and I'm 27. Hi, Lexi. How are you? Hi. Lexi, why'd you end up popping your balloon? I popped my balloon just because of the eyebrows. Like, you have your eyebrows done, and I don't really even do my own eyebrows. So you it's don't. just kind of like, eh. I don't want you in the mirror longer than I'm in the mirror. Gotcha. So, yeah. Got it. <laughs> so now I can't hate her. Hmm. It could be the type of business that he's in. I don't know. I don't know some of y'all like, really, cuz? Me personally, some people would say if a man has his eyebrows done, that's a sign that he's playing for the other team. I don't know. I'm trying to not, you know, try to see the best of people. Maybe that's not the case. Okay. He's saying he's on the show. Um, presumably straight for these women. He's a straight guy. Let's see what happens, y'all. Now is Lexi someone that's your type? Lexi's very beautiful. Thank you. Very cool. So she saw her out, you'd approach her? I, I would. Okay, yes. come, come. All right, let's go to our next pop balloon. All right, if we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm C and I'm 36. And okay. C, why did you end up popping your balloon? I prefer men that aren't too flashy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And. What about him is giving off flashy? <laughs> the bag, the just, yeah. I prefer less for men. Okay. Yeah. okay. I can see that because that will match her more. Okay. I can see her saying that. So That's more low-key. Yeah. That's fair. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it can actually make him look more flashy, more you know, flashier to her. And, uh, which could look kind of weird. I can see that. Have you gotten that before? Um, not necessarily because I'm, I'm a person that kind of really switch up my styles. I kind of wear and I'm a man of many hats, so I wear a lot of different looks. Got so it. today was one of those things. I just tried to figure out where I want to take you after this. So. Gotcha. <laughs> All yeah. right. Now I see someone that you approached. We saw her. Very out. beautiful again. Um, I would say yes. Okay. Yeah. Got it. We did get one back here. Let's go back. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. If we can have your name and age, Alexis, and I'm 29. All right. And Alexis, why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, he's like too pretty mm. like you could tell you do a lot getting ready and stuff like how she said she doesn't want a man in the mirror longer than she is but i mean hey you you look good but not really my type okay thank Got you it. <laughs> now same thing is she someone that you would approach 
It's interesting because my last show, a lot of times we hear women on this show saying, man, is it made, an, made up enough? He looked like he just put anything on. This guy's the exact opposite. Let me see what's happening here, y'all. Now, I will say the, the eyebrow thing, I can see them saying that. That's, that is kind of um, definitely taking it far. If you get your eyebrows done, you're a man. I'm sorry. And this is just how I look at it. She seemed like she has a great personality, very pleasant. Got the little homemade. He got the right to do that. If he want to do that to his eyebrows or if he has, like, you know, spotty eyebrows, I can understand. Dimples. I like the little dimples <laughs> sitting there. Yeah. And then again, you know, I love red carpets. I like going to the gala. I love really, just really nice places to go. So I didn't, wasn't sure about the area out here. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to kind of make sure I was dressed for the occasion. Sound like he come from Baltimore or New York. I think he, let's see, become a Baltimore. I wonder where he come from. The accent kind of. It's like it's maybe a Baltimore accent. I wonder what it is. But I appreciate that. You're you could always get your balloons back, lady. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's not only how you're dressed. It's, it's in your face. It's in my face, too? You're, you're a pretty boy. Okay. It's not bad. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank Let's you. go down over here. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Nkiru, and I'm 32. Okay. Uh, the reason why I pop, uh, I think I see like tattoos. Okay. Yeah, I really don't do tattoos. Oh, you got some sorry. tattoos. Yes. Okay. Yes. Where are you from, by the way? I'm Nigerian. Nigerian. I have yes. a lot of friends from Nigeria. Yeah. Very, yeah. Beautiful <laughs> culture. Thank you. Yes. Actually, my, my last girlfriend was from Africa. Mm. So, yeah. Nice. Very interesting. I love the culture, by the way. Nice. Thank but you. Thank you. Thanks. Yep. All right. And now she's someone that's your type? Beautiful. Yes, again. Thank yes. you. Yes, she's caught, she's, she connects with our culture and her background. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go to our next, oh, actually, no, there ain't no next lady. I lied. Let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> All right, so we do have three unpopped balloons. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the ladies a question. I think this, this woman as an exotic dancer, her decision making when it comes to men, I think actually may be better than the rest of them, okay? When it comes to like she seems to be waiting she seems to be just trying to figure out more about the people okay um we'll see she probably gonna find somebody soon let's see what happens y'all question just to mm -hmm. kind of help you narrow it down see who is more of your match welcome back to this u.s open office hey, um wait what do you guys like to do and thank you for keeping your balloons could you tell me a little bit about yourself okay let's start right here with your name and age my name is Tiffany and I'm 26 years old. Um, I like traveling as well. I love trying new foods. I love doing new things. Um, I'm still like in my 20s, yeah. so I like to just try everything new. Like I'm a very adventurous person. Spontaneous? Yes, I'm very spontaneous. I love that, I love that. Any particular type of food you like? Um, I love Italian food. Okay, mm -hmm. I love that. So do I, so do I. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go to our next lady. We'll start with your name and age and then the answer to this question. I'm Danielle and I'm 35. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. and then the answer to this oh, question. Uh, <laughs> things that I like to do? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I'm, I feel like I'm pretty adventurous and spontaneous. Um, I'm kind of down for whatever. I do like to have fun. I like to go out and dance. Um, I like to lounge. I like to also be at home. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. What about your favorite food? Any any particular food you like? I love to eat. I have a yeah, very restricted. I think maybe he come from New York. I think I'm his New York accent. Let's see what he says. Restricted diet. Okay. Very restricted. Um, okay. I was a vegetarian for six years, mm -hmm. and I only eat chicken and turkey. Oh wow! Um, but I don't eat any dairy products. I don't take in any cow's milk, anything like that. Okay, that's very interesting. Thank you. <laughs> do you live in the area? I do. Nice to meet you. All right, let's go on to our next lady. We'll start with your name and age, and then just to answer to his question. Uh, my name's Kiana. I'm 32. Um, you said name, age, and... And then your question was? Just a little bit about what you like to do, what you enjoy doing. Oh, um, I love to travel. Mm -hmm. um, I like to work. I'm very busy, so nice. that's also something that I do enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, shopping and whatnot and yeah nice i love Very shopping basic, like, yeah. i love shopping what do you like to shop where you enjoy shopping um everywhere it, like, like, that's cool the way the sparkles in her because the eyeshadow is matching her um dress that shows a lot of thought that, that, that's what's up 
Okay. Look at every she got a lot of colors in her dress, you know. Gotta give her that. Thank you. Yeah, like I like my Forever 21's H&M's, but mm -hmm. then I also like my Ferragamo, Gucci, and stuff Thanks. like that. So uh, it's nothing wrong with that. So you work hard, play hard. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have eight sisters, so I kind of connect on different levels with different people, and they kind of all taught me kind of really how to just, you know, every woman have their own different tastes. Yeah. You know. You yeah, real clean. I, I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie. If I could get, you know, if I found a suit like that. You know, I can pick it up, I would, because my man, <laughs> that's a real nice outfit. I ain't going for it. I think it's tailored, possibly, but very, very nice. Also, eight sisters, eight different personalities, so <laughs> I like that. That color probably wouldn't be looking that great on me, but I'll get something like that, though. Sure. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful, though. Thank you. Yes. All right. Thank you. Okay, Ooh. so kind of based off of those yeah. responses you heard, I'm yeah. going to have you pop one of those ladies' balloon, if I can just Ooh. borrow your pig. I'm going to get this over to you. Ooh. I know it's tough. They are all gorgeous ladies. <laughs> and I just like one more question. Next round. For this round, Next you do round. have to pop that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh. I don't know. That's a tough one. I bet. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'll just go with her. Okay, I saw it was really, really tough. It was tough. Yeah. That was tough. So why did we end up going with oh, hers? It was tough. I love the fact that you, you took a chance, even with your age. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that you're very spontaneous and that you're open to new things. Mm -hmm. And that you're okay with a, a guy that kind of take care of himself a little bit. I might have went too My barber went a little too far. <laughs> he did that. But um, but that's cool. <laughs> Something I learned from or whatever. But um, I think you're very beautiful. Thank you. And um, I'm sure you're gonna find somebody that connects very well Thanks. with you. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, um, honestly, like I I don't mind flashy. I'm very like over the top myself. So mm -hmm. I didn't mind that. Um, I like when someone takes me to do new things or try yeah. to do new things. I see what I'm saying. See what I'm saying. She like one of the smartest people up there when it comes to picking a person. Okay. Like me personally, I'm not a flashy person at all. That's like the exact opposite of me. Also, um, I don't mind being around. I kind of like being around with women. Okay, they're not that flashy. But at the same time, I've dated women that are flashy because everybody's different. Okay, um, you know what I mean. So I don't know. Like it's not the end of the world for somebody to be flashy. That's what I'm trying to say. Like for me personally, that's like, like I said, that's like the opposite of me. I'm the kind of person I rather like melt into the shadows than, than to be, you know, someone that's all, you know what I mean, in everybody's face like that. I love a man that loves women. So knowing that you have a bunch of sisters, I have a bunch of sisters yeah. as well. That was a really like good yeah, thing for me. Yeah, that's the so. You know, I really, I just, and my sisters, I've learned a lot from them, you know. I thought he was going to actually pick her. I'm surprised. Taking care of yourself. You know, and just really just... They seem like they connect better than other people, in my opinion. Just being neat. I think mm -hmm. a woman want a man who's clean. I like who, a man that goes to nail salon with me, too. Right. <laughs> I don't necessarily go to the nail salon. Me. But I used to own a chain of uh, barbershops. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I always think that it's important to make sure that you maintain your look. Especially if you want someone who's, you know, who wants to connect with you and you represent them. So I think that I represent, just like I represent a few talents in the industry, I represent my woman. And what was your deal breaker me. for me? Well, the deal breaker for me was really just your age. It was the age. <laughs> <My older> man. <laughs> you know, my last girlfriend was close to your age. Oh. Um, and sometimes in the area of that, there's a little bit of just uncertainty, um, just uncertainty. Yeah. You're learning a lot. And, um, you know, there's, there's some room for growth for all of us. Mm -hmm. So I was just look, I was just looking at that. But you're, you're very beautiful. And I could tell we could really get along. You have really good energy. Thank you. You have really good energy. <laughs> like red carpet stuff. Just getting out there and just having. See, see, I think she's younger than him. See, that proved. I remember I think it was another video I did where somebody was saying most, somebody literally left a comment and said, that most men want women that are much younger. And I'm like, that's not true. I'd rather go with women that's my age or a little older than somebody that's much younger because women that are younger a lot of times are immature. All right, make dumb, say dumb stuff and they make dumb decisions. Not all of them, but there's a lot of them like that. Okay, I don't, and he's like, oh, well, you don't understand. I was like, come on. I mean, this person was nice in the comments. I'm just saying, I was just like, like, I don't agree with that at all. You know what I mean? But there are some men that are 
much, much older, maybe 60s plus, whatever. They are pregnant women there are 20. I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe see why I could do like, Look, at this point, I can't, I don't want someone that's just old. I want someone that's younger. But all men, trust me, don't think that way. Funny. He's proving that point right, right, right now. What he just said. Connecting. I really didn't ask what they do, but that's okay. We could ask our next two ladies. I will. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Try puffs. Mike said, short men is discriminating against short men is a drug of the century. But that's because, of course, they want a man that's much taller than them. They don't want somebody that's a, a, a match of height. So, what do you do? I work in human resources. Okay, excellent. So, so you basically, you work in human resources, just keeping everything organized and making sure everyone's following the company policies and things like that. Pretty much. Excellent. <laughs> Any other side things you enjoy doing or you do, like side work or jobs, hustles or businesses? Um, not currently. I'm okay. kind of focused on my career and uh, growing where I am currently. Nice. Um, so that's, that's interesting. Nice, nice, nice. All right, Let's thank ask you. her. All right. And what do you do? Um, well, I am a CNA, mm -hmm. and also I, um... I can't believe that he would have popped her ourselves for the age. I, I mean, maybe because she's an exotic dancer, maybe, and that could have caused a problem. Maybe that would have been an issue, so maybe he, that was good for him, but I don't know. I can't see how he was talking to a woman. It was just like, it was just the best, the best connection. I'm a supervisor at a, a shoe store in real estate. Real estate. So, Excellent. Yeah. Okay. I do real estate as well. Oh, I nice. really do. Um, do you live in the area? No. Miami. Live? Oh, you live in Miami? I live in okay. Miami. Okay. All right. That's, for, that's nice. That's yeah. nice. Just here, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, any children? I have a daughter. I have a daughter. Um. <laughs> He said, oh, you live in Miami, but much, much, much farther away from me. Okay. He said, that's nice. He said, that's nice. She's 12 years old. <laughs> but I, uh, I do want five kids total. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's just my first one. Okay. So I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> do you have any kids? I do have a daughter. Okay. Yes, I do have a daughter. I think it's important, you know, understanding that a woman that has a daughter, to me, she, she made room in her life to add someone else, because that's not easy. So being independent and by yourself, sometimes sometimes women become selfish and just kind of really don't know how to share that space. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate that, mm -hmm. I do. All right, yeah. ladies, do we have any questions for him? Yes, uh, you asked, are we were local, are you local? I'm not local, but I'm open to travel. I'm open to flying out, flying you out. Um, just really make- Ask him where he's from, ask him where he's from, y'all, please. Make sure I make the connection, because I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm really. Where are you located? I'm actually from New York City, but I. What did I say, y'all? What did I say? It's rare to have a person, a person from New York on this show, y'all. My prediction is always right. I don't know why that is. Almost always. Right. I currently reside in uh, Charlotte. Okay. Yeah. How old is your daughter? My daughter's nine. I could tell when he said daughter. He was like, they always say daughter. Like the way he said it, just I could tell that was an accent. <laughs> You feel he's like my daughter. He, he said like he, it's almost like they say daughter. They just say it in such a way. It's like no way you cannot tell the day. But she lives in she lives in Chicago with her mom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's well taken care of. Any questions on your end? Um, um. You said selfish. What do you mean by that? What you mean? Yeah. Not being selfish. Meaning that you know how to share <laughs> some of your love, your time, your attention, your space. <laughs> Okay, yeah, um, I, I, I am selfish, like I'm a self, like not completely selfish, I, of course I do have that all for my daughter, but I get told a lot from my exes, like I do have, like I do have selfish behavior and whatnot, <laughs> I was pretty spoiled growing up, so, I, I mean, funny. I just want to be honest, so that way you're not like. I like that, she, she sounds proud to be honest, just, when she said I get told about my exes, I just thought that was funny, I was just, I was just imagining all of them saying, you're selfish, you know, I'm like, you're selfish, man. He's like, oh, and in the guy's mind, it's like, all right, so that really is true. Cause that's why they're all saying that. But um, <laughs> like she said, she's trying to be honest, and that is good. Can't fault her for that. 
Bamboozled. <laughs> Bamboozled. Okay. Okay. So, but do you have room? Do you have room to share with others? Yeah, of course. Beautiful. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Like, okay. yeah. But that, yeah, that that I that is a part of me. Yes. So. Nice. Yeah. Okay. We'll be back for her. So why did we end up popping? Um. I'm definitely, so I, I have children myself, okay. but my children are older, mm. um, well above nine. <laughs> so I am definitely in the stage of my life where I'm looking for someone who wants to be selfish with me. Um, I want all your time. I understand we work. I understand you have other responsibilities, but I need to be number one priority. And unfortunately, you got sisters. Your daughter. I don't know if that's what he was talking about when he said that, but let's see what he says. You got a lot of people in front of me. Oh, and sister. that's just unfortunately not where I am in life. Okay. Yeah, my okay. sisters are all in their own world. They, they they live in different countries. My sister live in Mexico. My other sister live in New York. They're, they're all in their own world, married and just focused. So I'm out of their space. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Well, let me walk you on up. Ooh, ooh. Go ahead. Um, I just think that I don't think it's will be a match. Like, some have to pop the balloon. And I say, I don't know why he didn't pick the other I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh. okay. All right, so why'd you end up popping? I just don't see too much of like a, not even necessarily connection, because it's been two minutes, mm -hmm. but yeah, right. you just remind me of someone, I don't know, someone in my family, <laughs> like okay. you too, like my uncle or my dad, like, oh. I think it's like, you just remind me of something, so. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Right. Thank you. <laughs> oh man. Well, that is unfortunately all of the balloons popped, but we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. <laughs> Take the mic. Now you see how that is kind of a flaw in, the, in this show. Well, reviewing this show, reacting to what I just said. Well, like I always say, they make people pop balloons without getting information. Sometimes, like he did ask a question, but all that was like. At this point, you gotta. Uh, he said, "Gotta ask another question," and they were like, "No." I think that they should have let. Now this show is edited; it's not shown live, so it's absolutely no reason for them not to have allowed them to do that. Okay, they could have cut it out. You know what I mean? Because this is not just a show for these people. This is a. This is their life. <laughs> you know what I mean? He could have asked another question and maybe made a connection with one of the other women, but he was not allowed to do that. I think that's that's an error in the show. But let's continue. So I never got a chance to uh, show the surprise. Oh, okay. Do we get to see it still? Uh, I don't want to be nobody's last option. Mm. <laughs> I can't even fault her for saying that. Can't even fault her for saying that. You know what I mean? Um. So maybe next time. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Let's go ahead. What did I say, y'all? What did I say? I said, I don't know why he did. He picked. Let's continue. I'm going to give it up for him, ladies. Usually women say that. I'll be like, that was dumb. But in this case, I can't, I can't even get mad at it. But I think it's a false of the show. Because once again, they don't allow. They got us. I need another question. They was like, no. You know what I mean? He made a new one or two things about him, and it's like, come on, like, like once again, people say popping a balloon is just about looks, and it's really not. But when you don't allow people to have enough information, it, it, it devolves into that. You know what I mean? So, so. Okay. I know that the people who run the show are going to say it's for time sake. It's for time sake. Okay, but I have a video company. You can edit. Like I said, you can edit. They edit on the show all the time. I'm not just edit, so I don't understand that. You know what I mean? Oh, guy. This is something I just don't understand that there, there's going on behind the scenes. Come in. <laughs> Can I have your name? My name is Moan. Moan? Moan. Like, make Mon? you moan? Yeah, Mon. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 38. 38? Okay, and what do you do? I'm a creative impresario. Hmm. Okay, hmm. and what does that mean? <laughs> so pretty much, uh, creative impresario is a person that excels in the arts, so I have a a video production company called Dreamcast Video, mm. and I'm also a, a, a brand, so I'm Moan on a Beat. Okay, cool. And now, what are some things you look for in a woman? So, I look for emotional maturity. Shoes are nice, okay. Authority. I look for uh, consistency and pretty feet <laughs> and good credit. Okay. But if you don't got good credit and you got bad credit, I know how to fix that to get us some funding. 
Um, okay. Okay. Got it. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers, ugly. Feet. Well, I guess go. <laughs> so my deal breakers, ugly feet. feet. Um, deal breakers is awesome. Okay. Got it. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers, ugly feet. <laughs> um, deal breakers is also uh, attitude. I don't do attitude okay. and combativeness. I don't mm. do that either. Okay. All right, so we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on. Very, <laughs> I mean, very straightforward. I like those glasses too, real clean. Real clean. Over to some of these ladies and see why they ended up popping. All right, if we can have your name and age. Shoes is fire, so I can choose. I'm Alexis and I'm, I'm 29. Okay. Alexis, why did you pop your balloon? Um, I didn't really like the make you moan statement. You. And um, you kind of look like coming to America right now. I got you. But you know, hey, as long as you happy, I'm happy. For sure. I see you used to dealing with peasants, so you don't know when you see a king. You know, I look at it. When I was listening to this guy, I was saying to myself, is he a comedian? Because he kind of, the way he was just saying something, it just was like very polished, like sound like a polished comedian. I don't think he's trying to be funny, but he could be a comedian, in my opinion. Definitely. Um, <laughs> Definitely got the voice for it and the way his vernacular is definitely there. Let's continue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is she someone that's your type? Uh, you know, I say I like feet. Oh, okay. I ain't really feeling her feet. <laughs> hey, I'm. He gave my man a run for his money. The guy from the last show, they were saying like a teenage ninja turtle. He gave him a run for his money. Let's see how this, maybe this is his brother or something like that. Let's continue, y'all. Kind of hot right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> but the f yeah, they, they showed her feet too, Dad. They showed this. They, they should be doing people dirty. She ain't working for me, so. Okay. You know what I'm she put on, but she pretty though. Yeah. She definitely pretty, but you could look like Holly Berry if you ain't got pretty feet. I ain't rocking with it. Bless up. Okay. okay. Let's go to our next lady. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Lexi and I'm 27. Um, it's complicated. Uh. <laughs> You don't have no socks, so it's just not, it's just not it. For sure. It's not it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, is Lexi someone that's your type? Uh, let's look at and Lexi don't, real quick. Don't do too much. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Okay. Lexi, you kind of doing your thing, you know? Thanks. She got it. That must be something that people say in fiends. I've never heard a woman in my life say, don't do too much. <laughs> i never heard that before in my life. But I heard somebody say that last week, and now that woman is saying it this week. So that must be some slant that y'all got in fiends who say, don't do too much. Never heard it here. Interesting. I mean, learning something new watching this. She got a queen, a queen look. Okay. Feet pretty. Got a nice tattoo. Thank you. Um, that's your real hair? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, if that's your real hair, yeah. Thank she you. She cool. Yeah, she look decent. Thank you. For sure. Okay, thank you. Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Tiffany, and I'm 26 years old. It's just, you you seem like a funny guy. You just see, I love to laugh, but it's just giving real gimmicky. For sure. That's, that's really it to me. Okay. It's just giving gimmicky. The moan statement, it's just giving gimmick to me. Cool. That's real. That's so what I felt. I felt like he did seem like kind of like a comedian or what? Really good. Okay, cool. I like that. That's not a bad thing, especially if you can make money from it. It's not a bad thing, though. <laughs> okay, so is Tiffany someone that's your type? Nah. Okay, and why not? <laughs> why do you say like, let's continue, y'all? I'm sorry, y'all. Um, the fit is kind of cheesy to me. Kind of looking a little bit <laughs> rainbowish. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, I'm not. I'm not one that do lace fronts, mm. so I don't really feel like the lace fronts. And um, but don't get it twisted. I can see through all that, and through all that, you're beautiful. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? And you I like that outfit. I like the material that she has on that. That sparkling material, that's probably one of the best outfits up here, truth be told. Only problem is her chest is open too much, for sure. But outside of that, <laughs> outside of that, it's, very, it's a very nice outfit. I think she really thought about that, too. Okay? Even the color, it really fit. It does. It makes her skin look better, actually. You, know? you got a soul that glow. Thank you. <laughs> but gimmicky, look me up. You see what's good okay. with me. <laughs> Got you. All right. <laughs> if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm C and I'm 36. 
Okay, so I ended up popping my balloon because I didn't like some of the comments that you made, but also I don't like your outfit. I mean, I do think, um, I think it's great that you're 38. That's kind of the age range that I'm going for. Um, and you do seem funny. Um, but I think um, a lot of the guys before you kept it really like classy and really nice. And that's the type of guy that I'm looking for. I hear that. Someone nicer. Yeah. That's what's up. Okay. <laughs> Is he someone that's your type? Uh, C's pretty cool. Pre pretty feet. Thank you. Cool outfit. The outfit, I mean, people saying I'm gimmicky. The outfit look kind of gimmicky. I mean, but, um, it's better than yours. It's better than mine. It's better than and, yours. Um, and so. like, I'm really, like, into, like, I like, I really like natural. But, again, just like, um, just like I mentioned with her, I'm all about uh, natural. And I, I can see through it all, and you're beautiful. You seem like you have, like, an aura that's, that's really glowing. And I rock with that. I like um, beautiful skin, amazing skin. And, yeah, she pretty cool. Okay. What's up? All right, thank you. <laughs> Miami, he's being asked his question. It's not like you're trying to be mean. He's asked, he has to answer, you know, in that way. And he has to answer honestly. And I don't think he's trying to um, attack these women, you know, or throw any vitriol or anything like that. He's just, I think he is being honest with you. Give him that. Not taking any points from the women because, you know, they speak in their mind. They're not, try, well, I think they're trying to be rude initially, you know what I mean? So I, everything, everything's cool. They got a high score. Surprisingly, they're def I think they're going to beat the men unless something crazy happens. I think they're definitely going to beat the men. The men ended up like 74 or something like that. Let's see how this goes, y'all. Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Nkiru, and I'm 32. Um, I really, I really don't know what to say, but uh, I don't think I feel like a connection between us. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you look nice, but I don't think you're the right person for me. Respect. Mm -hmm. And what's making you feel like he's not really the right person for you? Uh, like some of the comments you made earlier, that was part of it. Um, and I don't know. I just, it just, I just don't feel the connection. Like tradition aspect. For sure. Traditionally, I don't. Where are you from? I'm Caribbean. I'm from originally from the USA. Yeah. Mother's Trinidadian, father's Jamaican. Okay, yeah. Okay, nice. But sure. I don't think I feel the connection. Cool. Yes. Got it. And now, is she someone that's your type? She's giving me real goddess energy. Like, the fit is like, um, the fit is definitely on point. The rings, the gold, the glow, Thanks. the neck, the heel. <laughs> Every time he says glow, makes me think about soul glow. But that's what I'm saying. No, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'll keep it 100. Yeah. I mean, I know you said I s had comments back there, but, you know, I, I give credit when it's due. Oh, and okay. you definitely glow on Superstar. All right, thank you. Bless up yourself. Don't worry yourself. <laughs> okay. Uh. Have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Danielle and I'm 35. Um, I popped my balloon originally because it just didn't match the kind of person that I am. Mm -hmm. um, Personality-wise, just coming out just the way we're dressed, I feel like we wouldn't step out together. Mm -hmm. um, but on top of that, I feel like you're going to tear me up and then break my ass right the fuck back down. So I'll stay clear of that. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> All right. So is she someone that's your type? Well, me uh, having Caribbean parents, I'm real big on energy and real big on auras. And you seem like you have an amazing aura. So I would, I would never break you down. Anybody that uh, rocks with me, I always lift them up. I'm an upgrader, I always upgrade. Anybody that comes in my vicinity, I upgrade them. You get what I'm saying? But you, beautiful feet, beautiful heels, the dress is immaculate, the watch is crazy. I don't understand what's the difference between her feet and the other. But of course, it's TV I can't really see. I was wondering, what was the difference between her feet and the other person? The tattoo is like that. The kisses on the chest is like that. Hair is like that. I'm gonna give you this a mine too. Don't. Oh, that's you? you? Yeah, it's mine. That's it's you? Mine. <laughs> so big up yourself, darling. Me not worry no, yourself. I appreciate you. What's up? <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name's Kiana. I'm 32. Bless up yourself, Kiana. Yes, sir. <laughs> um... Yeah, Kiana in 32. Uh, I popped my balloon because, you know, just um, seems very 
flat, not flashy, but showy and whatnot, okay. not understanding the fit. So I don't know if it's coming to America, like, but I mean, as far as that's what it looks like mm -hmm. and all power to you, but yeah, For just, sure. yeah. I just know if I'm, if that's how you dress, to, uh, cause if we're going on a date and whatnot, I'm very like a, you know, chill kind of not flashy at all kind of person. I got you. So yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now she's someone that you would approach your type. Um, was you, Kiana? Mm -hmm. Um, Kiana's cool. Um, where you from? Miami. Miami. Okay. So I'm from uh, Silver Spring, Maryland, but I know a lot of people in Southeast DC. You give me that type of vibe. Which is um which is smooth. Uh your aura is beautiful. Um you got you kinda I like the colors. Feet is gorgeous. I love feet. Feet is gorgeous. Heels is different. I like that. But um a lot of people not gonna understand where I'm at because I'm on like an elevated level. You know what I'm saying? And again, like I told the other anybody that come in my vicinity, I mm. upgrade them. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And what might seem gimmicky to some it's treasure to others. You feel what I'm saying? So that's true. It's not gimmicky. If that's really what he does all the time, we'll say that. You know what I mean? Unless he came over, I'm just wearing this for the show as a gimmick. They're not gonna understand. Like, you know. is she somebody that I would date? Um, not really. Uh, not really. Not because she isn't attractive, but I'm a I'm an artsy type of person. And when it comes to people that I connect with, it's people that um. Is in the artsy nature, you know what I mean? I do events, I do art shows, things like that. And I'm um, not saying that she doesn't fit that, that, that vibe, but again, like the others, I could see through everything. And um, I got one question, like, and, and, it's, and it's really pertaining to you and a couple of other females with the lashes. What is it with women with lashes? What is it? Um, but I don't know, like what you're wearing, a, a piece that's ex, 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 um, exemplifying your mm -hmm. everything about you. So sure. that's what I'm doing. I'm just wearing a piece that's exemplifying my beauty. So no, nah, you're trust me, sweetheart. You're beautiful. Yeah. So I'm not. I just um, I think that a lot of times women, when they're wearing the lashes, I think they're wearing it for themselves and not knowing what a man really likes. And a man really likes supernatural, but. You Me, are. I'm the type of person where I'm going to do everything how I want to do for myself as far as like even what I'm eating, losing weight, because I'm just going to do what how I want myself to look. For and sure. my man just has to like it. Right? For sure. Okay. Cool. One thing about about lashes that can be bad, though, I will say, it's, and there are a lot of men that don't like that, is that when a man sees you with lashes, especially if he's talking to you, it can make him immediately think that you're that there's a fakeness about you. Okay, seriously, because looking at your eyes, he immediately sees something that's not real, that's not part of you. I should say, okay, it's an add-on. And lashes can make you look quite different. It is true. I'm not hating on people with lashes. I know a lot of women that have fake lashes, but that's just something to understand. You know. In my opinion, if you have the option to wear fake lashes or not, and you're going on a date, meet a, with a new guy, I would not wear them, okay? <laughs> I would, at least not on the first day. I think I would probably try to wait to do that, okay? So you can see you more, you know what I mean? Who you are, how you look without them, basically. Cool. Right. I like that. That's Thank what's you. Up, for sure. <laughs> Let's go back this way. Oh, this okay. way. <laughs> All right. Well, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons popped, but we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's sure. give it up for him, ladies. Bless up, y'all. Take this. Have a thank go. you. <laughs> Oragel's leading formula helps you fight pain and immediately hit pause. I got a commercial right there every two seconds. Single guy. Hello. Welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is June. June? Yep, June. Okay, how old are you? Uh, 33. 33, and what do you do? Uh, I'm an actor, I'm a writer, producer, all of that. Okay, all right. And now what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, someone who knows how to communicate. Mm -hmm. uh, someone who, um, I know we all go through things, but someone who's healed, preferably. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, someone who's fun, you know, not too stuck up, okay. pretty much. <laughs> and now, uh, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, somebody that smokes cigarettes. 
Can't do segments. Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on okay. over to these ladies and see what's going on. Let's go. <laughs> okay. We can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Alexis, and I'm 29, and you said you don't like a smoker, and I'm an occasional smoker. You smoke so. cigarettes? Oh, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, that's that's crazy. That's what's up. <laughs> no judgment, no judgment. Now, before he said that you did have your balloon unpopped, why so? Um, I mean, you know, he got a nice swag about him, so. Appreciate it. Seemed like good personality. I got it. And now, is uh, Alexis someone that's your type? Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, okay. she's she's very attractive. Thank you. <laughs> I like the I like the little diamonds in the teeth. I like that. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on to our next lady. All right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Tiffany and I'm 26 and I popped my balloon because you're giving me big cousin vibes. Like big you cousin. remind me of my big cousin and it's just, yeah. But everything else, you seem like you're a ball of energy. You seem like somebody I could have fun with. But other than that, I Like just... specifically, you have a cousin specifically I remind you of? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Dang. He must be cool as hell. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, he is. He's uh, like one of my favorites. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Now, is Tiffany someone that's your type? Yes, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I like the fit. It's like... I like that she matched it too. I like that. Got the little yeah. glitter. I like that. That's what's up. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's go on to our next lady. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Hi, I'm C and I'm 36. I popped your balloon because I felt friend friendship vibes, not not relationships. So Okay. Um, but that's it. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. So <laughs> is C someone that you approach? Is she someone that's your type? Uh yes, actually. I like I like the dress. You Thank know what you. I'm saying? She she looked like she fit too. I like that. Thanks. Okay. Let's go to our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Nkira and I'm 32. Uh, the reason why I popped is uh, I think you look a little too young for me. Yeah. I'm yeah. older than you. <laughs> yes, yes, but I like them a little, a little older than that. Yeah. Okay. You like them to look older, not actually be No, older. no, like older, like probably like from 35. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got you. And uh, other than that, you look good, but um, I just feel like, yeah. Too young. Too young for me. Okay. Yes. <laughs> older than you is too young. That's what's up. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. That's what's up. Okay. Okay. And now, is she someone that you're tight? Uh, yeah, I like the hair. I like the hair. I like the Thank makeup. You. I like the, the eyelashes. I do. I do. I like the... I like the dress. I don't like the shoes too much, but I like the dress. I like the dress for sure. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You look nice, though. You look beautiful. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we do still have three unpopped balloons. So I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question just to kind of help you narrow it down, see who's more of your match. Okay. Um, what are you guys most passionate about? Mm. Okay. We'll start with your name and age, and what are you most passionate about? Uh, my name is Lexi. I'm 27. Um, there are probably two things that I'm really, really passionate about. One is serving my community. I'm a birth doula and I mm. make plant-based skincare. So I'm really passionate about helping my community. And then the other thing is traveling. Like I love to travel the world. I love solo traveling. That's just kind of my thing. I want to see what's beyond me and where I live. So those are the things I'm passionate about. They are kind of the same height on Nora's. Definitely. He maybe is a little taller than her. Oh, I think she got hills on, so he could definitely be taller than her. What's, what's your favorite place to go? Where's my favorite place to go? Hmm. I've been in Mexico six times, so probably Mexico. Okay. Yeah. okay. Like the food, the people. Uh, tequila. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> how, how'd you, how old did you say you were? 27. 27. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's good. Right. that's good. Let's go to our next lady down here. <laughs> Some of y'all always, I think I said this on my last show, isn't it crazy how people went on YouTube, so they went out to watch a bunch of ads, and now YouTube has more ads than TV. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. Name and age, yeah. and what are some things you're passionate about? Yes. Or what are you passionate about? Yep. I'm Danielle, and I'm 35. Um, the things that I'm most passionate about is my future, honestly. Uh, I'm very ambitious. Um, I'm always looking for what's to do next. Um, and then... That's pretty much it. <laughs> that's where I am in life. Of, of what to do next. Okay. Yeah. What's next? Nah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you said you're how old? I'm 35. 35. Okay. Can I, can I ask for another question? Do you have kids? I do. How many? 
I have three. How many uh, fathers? <laughs> I was once married. So just one? Yes. How long were you married? Eight years. Oh. Okay. Nah, that's what's up. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's not. She's seen me kind of mad about me asking that, but the big thing, you got three kids, because a lot of women have three kids three, with three baby fathers. She says she was one, once married. That doesn't mean anything when it comes to still, you still can have other baby fathers. You know what I mean? And that's important to know because that's something that a man has to deal with. You know what I mean? And I, sometimes women will say, no, you won't, but then it always turns out that way. I like that. Okay. All right. Your name and age, and what are you passionate about? My name is Kiana. I'm 32. And I'll say I'm passionate about just setting a foundation for my daughter and whatnot. And yeah. Just that. How old's your daughter? Twelve. Twelve? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. how, and you said you were how old? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That and music. Like I love music. You so. you sing? I have I have a voice. <laughs> so yeah. Is that a yes? Y yeah. <laughs> it's not a no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I think he could be a little less aggressive in the way he's at asking these questions. Because that could turn some, I know a lot of women that would, that would turn them off. Uh, when he said, is that a yes? It's like, I don't know. It could have been a little more, let me stick it a little. I don't know. That's just something that could turn a lot of women off. I guess not turn them off, but. Okay, let's head on back. So. I know he's on the game show, but maybe, maybe he's, doing, he's doing that because of the position that he's in and he really wants a straight answer. No one he may never seen him again. Maybe that's what it is. Based off of those responses you've seen, you've heard, and what you've seen so far, I'm gonna go ahead and have you pop one of these ladies' balloons. So let me hand you a toothpick. Sheesh, just one. Yep, just one for this round. Okay. Now, unlike the other guy, he definitely got a bunch of. Um, this drink got 394,000 views. Yeah, they really coming up. This thing just, this thing came out 10 hours ago. Okay, I was out reviewing this and they got almost 400,000 views. That's probably the quick, quickest time this show has ever gotten any views. That's ridiculous. But anyway, like I was saying, uh, and that's good. I'm glad for um, uh, Arlette and Molly um, and her show. Okay, because they put a lot of work into this show. Uh, now, he had a lot of qu questions that he was able to ask. Uh, unlike the other guy who wanted to ask another one. So at this point, he should be able to do this um, with some ease. Why you just assume it was you? <laughs> why you just assume she just stuck hers out like oh self sacrifice? That's crazy. <laughs> All right. So why did you end up popping hers? Um, you just like I know you said you like music, but if you were a singer, like you just didn't seem like you had the confidence. You know what I mean? Like I was like, do you sing? You was like, huh? I did. Oh. Yeah, so I was like, man, if you was a singer, you're supposed to be like, yeah, I sing. Yeah, but I, I'm not. I'm not Whitney Houston, Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I'm like a very yeah. Nah, that's so. that's cool. That's cool. I just I just like women that are confident. You know what I mean? But then again, she all I gotta give it to her. She could have just been honest. Like, look, I know I'm not that good yet. That's all. Maybe she does seem like she's a very very chill person. Okay. Um. So I, you can just see it from from all the way she's been answering. I think that's that's all that is. Okay. You look you you beautiful though. <laughs> for sure all right so we do have our two ladies left ladies do we yeah, women doing real good today i'm telling you still at 95 something that's crazy do you have any questions for him okay the show ain't over yet though almost is over it ain't over yet let's see it didn't keep that we'll start here then we'll go to you <laughs> oh, hmm. what is your relationship like with your parents oh man okay um I would say uh, my relationship with my mom is, is pretty good. Like, you know, uh, I think we're getting to a point now where we're pushing towards the healthy side. Um, it took some time, but I think we're getting there. And your dad? Uh, he wasn't in my life, so, you know, not relevant. Okay. And that's it for now. Okay. okay. <laughs> and she had one down here. Let's head on over here. All right, what was your question? Do you have children? No. Do you want children? Yes. <laughs> I'm done. I have three. Oh, yeah, because you got three. I'm done, yes. Hey, I understand. <laughs> like, cause I, I understand. Dang. Oh, Dang. But I do like you. I like, uh, I like everything about him. And don't take this the wrong way. It's just my definition of it. But I like Lane. Oh. <laughs> 
I'm la- that's crazy. <laughs> the, the, just what you give off, like I truly, I love it. That's my that's my type of man. Like I feel like we could definitely have a ton of fun, mm. but baby, I can't give you no more kids. Mm. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. Dang. Right. I, I respect the honesty. I gotta give her that. You know, she for real because. Like I said, some of these women people they be having on the show, they be, they be like the cream in the crop. Some women, they're not, some women, they're not, they're not gonna tell you that. She told from the beginning, look, I'm not having any more kids, okay? And uh, even when she said that last comment, she said, don't take it the wrong way. Very respectful. I'm gonna actually have to give them another point just for that alone, y'all. Dang. The lame part. They're killing this guy. They're killing us, y'all. Like, one me. more back here. <laughs> Why do we end up popping? Okay, so like somebody said you do kind of give like best friend brother big bro vibes and then also like i want a really big family like i'm really big on family like whoever i'm with i want them to have a really great relationship with both their mom and dad just because like family's just really important to me facts yeah okay. facts yeah. what's he supposed to do i mean come on now with the family thing <sighs> all right well that's all the balloons popped unfortunately but we do thank you for coming on let's go ahead and give it up for him ladies thank you bro you reek Jeez, some of these comments are saying no he's a police she's hr bro she's basically the police too to be honest <laughs> At least at the job, they write about that. Somebody said, you have a point. Facts. <laughs> How old are you? Oh, 29 oh, years old. I'm probably going back. 29 and... All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. <laughs> Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Uh, my name is Kess. Kess? Yeah. Okay. How old are you? I'm 29 years old. 29. And what do you do? Uh, I work in finance uh, as a day job. And um, I uh, also coach AAU basketball. That's how I give back to the community. Okay. And now what are some things you look for in a woman? Nice. Uh, nice. Just somebody that's caring. Uh, somebody that's, um, you know, understanding. Nice outfit. Nice shoes, too. Somebody I can bring home to moms. Okay. And uh, it's just... Yeah, turtleneck. Okay. I see. That's about it. Got it. Okay. And now what are some of your deal breakers? Smoking. Mm. I can't smoke. No smoking. <laughs> okay, so we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over to these ladies and see, you know, what's going on. <laughs> we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Alexis, and I'm 29. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why'd you pop? Um, I smoke from time to time, so <laughs> thought I'd get out the way for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now, um, you know, she does say she's a smoker. Apart from that, is she someone that is your type, though? Yeah, she's fine. Okay. Yeah, I like Thank that. Thank you. You look nice, too. Appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's go on over to our next ladies over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. See, that's how you do it. I like the way you're doing it. Appreciate you. Thank you. Just keep on moving. You're not worse than wasting time. You know, let's keep, keep it moving. Your balloon. My name is Tiffany, I'm 26, and I smoke a little weed, <laughs> you know, so, but you are very handsome. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, and now, is Tiffany someone that's your type? Yeah, she's about it, too. Okay. Hey, she's nice. All right. Now, before he said that, you did have your balloon unpopped. Yeah, Why I was, so? Like, hesitating, because I was like, does he mean cigarettes or weed? Because, you know, some guys just don't like cigarettes, and some guys just don't like weed. So I didn't know if it's both or just one, okay. you know? Yeah, fortunately, it's both. It's both, yeah. okay. I understand. <laughs> All right, let's go over to our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm C and I'm 36. I popped my balloon because um, just the height. Okay. But, but everything else, I mean, you're in finance. I like your outfit. So good job. Cool. <laughs> All right, now I see someone that you would approach to your type. Yeah, she is actually. Yeah, she seems like a good vibe. I uh, feel vibrant personality. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Nkiru and I'm 32. Uh, the reason why I popped is, oh, same thing with her too, like the height. Yeah. Yeah, I like them a little taller, but besides that, you look great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, is she someone that is your type? Uh, I would say yeah, but I feel like, you know, I, I think sometimes um, it, it seems as though you're not welcoming. 
uh, it seemed like uh, your facial expressions were like, don't talk to me. So, you know, I, I like somebody who I can go and talk to and not be afraid to talk to. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, Have you so. gotten that before? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was showing my face. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes okay, okay. I do have like that straight face. Like, mm. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and let's go down over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Kiana, I'm 32. Um, very handsome, clean. Love the teeth. Are those veneer? Well, don't even matter. Like, they look nice. <laughs> really clean. Um, I just, you know, I'm not a smoker. But I do know like a lot of um, smokers, and not even know a lot of smokers, but I just do know that those that suffer from PTSD, it yeah. kind of calms them. So I'm just like, you know, maybe not. So yeah. Okay. And now, is she someone that is your type? She is. Okay. She is. Okay, yeah. what makes her your type? Oh. Um, <laughs> it's tough. Oh. <laughs> She's nice. Uh, I think, uh, again, the way she speaks, uh, the what I get from her, uh, the physical, yeah, she's, she's solid. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Man, smooth. Just keep it moving. That's how you do it. Don't waste no time. Keep it moving. Hey, so we do have two balloons left unpopped. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question just to kind of help you narrow it down, see who's more your type. Okay. Yeah. Um, so from your prior relationship, what's one thing you learned about yourself that you're working on? Hmm. You know, we always start with you. Let's start down there. It's one of the best questions I actually ever heard on this show. And then we'll come back. <laughs> All right, we'll start with your name and age. Okay, then now that you said from your prior relationship, what did you learn? Learn that you need to fix, basically. It's one of the best questions. And the answer to this question. Uh, my name is Danielle and I'm 35 and something that I learned about me from my prior relationship is um, that I was working on is communication. Um, I've always thought that I had top tier communication because I, mm -hmm. I, I talk a lot. Um, but maybe take a step back, listen a little bit better. And yeah, that's was the feedback for me. Nice. All right. Try a new game Relax Flames. He's saying here, short women. Okay, I already read that part. All right, Sammy. She said, "I want you to have a good relationship with both your parents." As if he chose for his father to be a deadbeat. That's what I was saying. I don't like how he control that. Okay, let's start with your name and age, and the answer to his question. I'm Lexi, and I'm 27. And something that I learned from prior relationships is probably. Thing I lost it. <laughs> Um, dang, I lost it. I can't remember. Uh -oh. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Another thing is just patience. Just, like, you know, being patient with people. Oh, that's what it was. Understanding. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of times, like, I feel like I do things in a certain order. And I do things in a way that I would want someone else to do it. So, understanding that everyone is different and everybody's not me. And everybody kind of does things on in their own way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, ladies, any questions for him? I'll ask the same question. Okay, go for it. What is your relationship like with your parents? With my parents? Yes. So, um, my mom and my, my sister and my nephews did a world to me. Um, that's really, that's my why. That's my reason for why I wake up and do what I do. Um, outside of that, my dad and I, we don't have the best connection. Um, I think that's a problem with a lot of black families. Uh, so I'm trying to rewrite that script. So, yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Let's head down over here. All right. Expecting her to pop for that. Let's see. What Any questions for him? Yes. So you seem con conservative, <laughs> <laughs> reserved very much. What is something mm -hmm. that you do to kind of let loose, show more of your personality? So it is nerve wracking. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so that's part of it. Uh, but outside of that, like I said, um, I, I coach AU basketball. So that's where a lot of my screaming and yelling and going all into it, uh, it goes into the kids. Um, outside of that, I'm really an easygoing guy, so yeah. And you want kids? I love kids. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want any more. I understand. That's all. All right. <laughs> Let's go on back. 
I'm surprised that she came on this show. Knowing that she didn't want any kids, and I don't know. I don't know. That's a, that's a very big thing to to to, to have as a um, a deal breaker that you can't that the guy cannot have any kids. She seems like a nice person. Otherwise, let's continue. Though. Okay. Yes. We have another question. Do you have kids? No kids. What else? Um. Mm, what is your idea of a great first date? A great first date. So. Um, I think it would be selfish of me if I only stated what I would want to do. So that would be something we would communicate. Okay. Uh, but for me, what I, you know, what I tend to uh, thrive in is finding some sort of mom and pop restaurant to support. Mm -hmm. And we can have a conversation there. Go okay, I have a couple more questions. Yeah. <laughs> Are you confident, like, with your height? Because I'm tall. <laughs> Of course, yeah. You are? Yeah, my so, ex is tall. So. Oh, I don't care about you. <laughs> yeah, I got to say. <laughs> um, so. I think that's it that's for it? now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me bring you on up here. Come on up. Come on up. All right. So she said she ain't got no more questions. Any final end? Any, any final questions on your end? Yeah, I just got two. Okay. That's okay. So when was the last time you been? You were genuinely happy? I'm happy right now. I'm happy every single day. Like I'm living the life that I want to live. When you said that Arlette was looking at him like she was like, oh, we got to edit this out. Like when you buy that. <laughs> Let's just continue, y'all. It's like a Kendra, uh, uh, um, <laughs> Kendra singles live um, question she be asking people. But Let's just continue, y'all. Like I said earlier, like I travel. I'm a full-time student. I'm pursuing my passion. I'm a pre-med student. <laughs> I'm a birth doula. I own a skincare business. Like these are nice. things that, I, that make me happy, that fulfill me. So nice. I have family. I have friends that love me. I'm happy. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And have you ever dated someone that's shorter than you in heels? In heels, yeah. Yeah, but in general, no. Cool. So you're not missing out. That's good. I was about to ask another question, but I can't remember. I'll ask later, I guess. Yeah, so you're going to ask hopefully on that date. So <laughs> oh, I got, oh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> Where do you live? So originally I'm from Brooklyn, New York, but I live in Charlotte right now. Okay, yeah. I live in Atlanta. Does that Davis. work? Yeah, it works for me. Okay. Okay, so that proves us that a lot of people on this show from all over, that she's in Atlanta and that he's from Brooklyn. And it's supposed to be in Phoenix. People are really traveling to be on this show. Because let's me know that I need to start my show. If you want to come on my show, make sure to hit me up. I need to start my own show, y'all. Okay, y'all come to Philadelphia. All right, from all across the world. Y'all can even come from Africa if you want to. England, you know what I mean, Brazil, wherever you want to come from. Travel. Of course, you're going to pay for that. I'm not going to pay for that. Thing. But y'all can come to my new show. Coming soon. I mean, let's get it. Okay, okay. So, my final question. Is it a yes for you for him? Yeah. And is it a yes for you for her? Of course. Yeah. We got a match! So I'll take this and you guys can go on up. Get for breeze. All that doing her thing, y'all. Get me. Say now, I'm trying to flatten like that. I give her a hand. This is a hard group right here for sure. I don't know if she don't get another match. But we'll see. Let's see, y'all. Can't Let's go ahead and bring out our next the score. The score guy. is so high. Men have like 70 some, but it's showing over yet. Let's see what happens. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is Michael. Michael, how old are you? 20. Some of these men is walking so fast up here. It's like, my goodness, why are you walking so fast? 28. 28. And what do you do? Uh, I'm a sales manager. Okay, all right. And now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, I look for a woman that's got confidence, um, can do her own thing. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Oh man. Deal breakers. Mm. That's a tough one. I mean, I'm not too picky to be honest. Um, as long as you have a good personality, you have a good foundation. Um, really, I, I I don't really have anything. It just really comes down to each person individually okay. uh, as far as what they're like. What their upbringing is. I gotta say, so you see, one thing about this show people don't understand is that, and I think I said this last time, they try to match, they try to bring groups that have similar interests to a degree. They don't tell you this, but that's something that they do. I found that out by watching a young woman's video who was on this show, and she said that um, 
they actually tour. These are the type of people that we have. We're not going to bring you on this show or bring you on another show because you probably won't match with them. That's why I first did if you notice. You ever see one of these shows where a lot of times women will say, I want a man that believes in God. They'll say that a lot. But you don't see anybody saying that now, okay? It's because of the type of group that they got. They literally, like, you know, have people that have similar interests. Like a lot of women that have heard smoke, you know, so they're all similar in a way. You know? mm. So all that's right. really it. I'm cool. not too picky. <laughs> what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, for fun, I love to uh, spend time with my family. I like to play basketball, go to the gym, um, work on my side business that I'm started. So, well, Pretty well rounded, I would think. Okay, so we did get a pop balloon. Let's go on over there and see what's going on. All right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Hi, my name is Nkiru and I'm 32. Um, I just feel like you're a little too light for me. I like my man a little dark skin. And um, I, I'm not too big on tattoos. Okay. I see you have like a little bit of tattoos. I'm not really too big on that. But other than that, you look great, but just not my type. Hey, that's okay. I thank you. Um, tattoos are just a uh, tribute to my father, so something I like to show off. Um, but I appreciate that. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. And now, is she someone that's your type? Um, I don't really have a type. I think you are very beautiful. You have very beautiful eyes. I love thank your hair, you. your dress, everything about you looks good. So, I, I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> thank you. All right, so we have quite a few balloons left. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question just to kind of help you narrow it down. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm trying to remember which person said that they popped because he didn't have a lot of bass in his voice. This guy, me, is like very similar. Um, <laughs> do I start in any particular order? Oh, it's going to be a general question for all of oh, them. Oh, general question. Yeah. Um, well, I guess off the rip. Um, where are you at right now in life as far as what you're looking for in a partner in a relationship okay all right we'll start with your name and age and the answer to this question i'm alexis and i'm 29 and um, i think i'm kind of just looking for like a partner in crime someone that can be my best friend and someone that i can build with okay. name and age and the answer to this question my name is Tiffany, I'm 26, and I'm basically looking for somebody I can have fun with, somebody who can guide me, but also learn from me as well, someone I could build with. Okay. Your name and age and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm C and I'm 36. Um, I'm looking for a long-term monogamous relationship, potentially. I wonder where she's from. I, I, she also like somebody that I may have met before. It's crazy. I, I'm realizing how these people, not everybody is from uh, Phoenix. I don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out later and let you guys know the next show. Marriage. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Name and age and the answer to this question. I'm Danielle and I'm 35 and I'm looking for someone to have fun with, a little spontaneous partner to just explore and try new things. Your name and age and the answer to this question. She looking like. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me sure. Okay. She looking like. It doesn't matter what I say once you find out that, that I don't want any more kids. I don't know. I think she, she should try to say that quickly, though, but, so she not wasting time. All jokes aside. Uh, my name's Kiana. I'm 32. I'm currently looking for a, a serious relationship, someone who I can build longevity with and whatnot. And, yeah. Okay. okay. So I can't blame her. If you got enough kids, you, you don't want any more kids, and that's her body. And, it, and she may not, you know, her body may not be even right, be able to do that anymore. I can understand. But that's something that she does want to say as soon as possible. All right. So I am going to have you pop two balloons, you know, based off of what you're seeing, what you've heard, all that good stuff. So let me give you a pick. Oh, man. Have you hold that. Okay. Go ahead and pop. Nespresso presents. Can I ask a question? After this round. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here they go again with that, so I don't know why. <laughs> okay, and then just one more. I know one popped, oh. but you got to pop one more. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> All right, I'll have you stay there. So we'll start with the first one you ended up popping. So why did you end up popping hers? I don't really have a reason. So far, everybody's been really great and open and honest, which I appreciate. Uh, sounds like you are at a point in your life that you're ready for something serious. I don't know if our age gap would be an issue. Um, that was probably the only thing that I was maybe a little hesitant about. But How old are you? 28. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, I didn't, I didn't hear that. Sorry. <laughs> like, yeah, that is pretty. I mean, I do like dating older guys, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's go over here. So why did we end up popping her balloon? <sighs> I don't know. I just had to. And like, <laughs> I don't want to. I think, again, it was the same thing, kind of the age gap. I don't know if you prefer somebody older. I'm a little bit younger, however come I have experienced a lot of life for a 28 year old, but I know that is a thing for some people and I didn't know if it was for you. So I just, I had to do it, I'm sorry. That's fine, his loss. <laughs> and so you did have your balloon unpopped for him, why so? I thought it was very handsome. Um, the age typically don't bother me too much. Um, I mean, he probably gonna want some kids, but you know, it's like whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna have his kids, but uh, he ain't looking for nothing uh, serious, so. Fun times. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we did get a popped balloon over here. Why did we end up popping our balloon? Yeah, so. I yes, I can take the women's score down. She said, you're not looking for nothing serious. Fun times. Did he say, I'm not looking for nothing serious? But she had to throw that in there. She said, it's his loss. Like you say, he said, I had to pick somebody. Come on, baby. So, you know what? I gotta reduce the score by five points. Still, it doesn't matter because they're still gonna be beating the guys with this type of score. When we ended up at 74 or something like that, what was it for 96? They probably gonna end in they probably gonna end up in the nineties. I can I can see that, y'all. Killing us. Let's continue. I love your tattoos. Um, Thank you. I love that you're in sales. I'm in sales also. Okay. Um, but it is the age gap. Yeah. Totally understand. Totally so. understand. Have you dated somebody older than you before? No. Um, well, by six months. So I don't know <laughs> if that really counts. But okay. So, yes, technically, on technicality. <laughs> I don't think that really counts. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. And have you dated someone younger than you before? I have. And I, my preference is, like, my age or older. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. Okay. okay. Well, let's back it up. So, we still do have two unpopped balloons. Okay. So... I know you had another question brewing in your head. Oh, thank you, Master. Well, enough since he has almost, he's, he's pretty wide open all kind of stuff he says. So, let's see how this turns out. Ed, I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these ladies. Oh man, uh, <laughs> have either of you ever dated anybody with kids? Is that a deal breaker for you? Um, yes, I've dated someone with kids. I have two kids of my own, so not a deal breaker. Okay. Okay. Yes, I've dated someone with kids, and I have a kid. He's two. Okay. All right. You have, an, you have kids, I'm guessing, because you asked that? I do. I have a five-year-old and a two-year-old son. Okay. So I do okay. have kids. So. And they stated they both have children. That's a deal breaker for you or no? No, absolutely not. All right. Okay. So, ladies, I'm going to go ahead and have you guys ask him a question if you have any. I don't like anything, but Downy Light is just right. I literally turned this on for like two minutes and they got another commercial. YouTube is getting worse and worse. Like I gotta say that. I'm on YouTube telling people YouTube has gotten worse and worse. It's crazy. How you gonna have a, um, a commercial in the two minute the same interval? Woman. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. The only question. Yeah, oh, do you mind dating someone that is an exotic dancer? No, that's okay. your thing. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> feed your. Why the fact that she told him that? That's what's up. Child, you know what I mean. <laughs> some people, some men are insecure and they can't handle me working in a club where other men are showing me attention. Maybe the women will pull us through, guys. We may be able to win this one. She said some men are insecure. Now, if she just said some men don't like that, what she was saying that, that was fine. But she said they're insecure. A man not wanting to date you because you are an exotic dancer it's not because they're insecure it's actually because you are around a bunch of other men showing them your body okay and, and in her case with your clothes off 99% of men don't want that I mean it's just the truth okay you think 
Well, most women, think about it, okay? You're a woman. Would you want your man to be out and about with a bunch of women complete, with none of his clothes on? Most women wouldn't want that. So why would you think that a man would want something like that? You understand what I'm saying? Come on now. And I've heard this before. Women, women have said, said, oh, well, you're insecure. No, it's, it has nothing to do with it. Okay, it's had nothing to do with, or you mean, so a woman may say, oh, well, you're insecure because you don't trust that I'll, that I can take care of, you know, the situation, this and that. It's not about that. Especially since a man can try to take advantage of you when you're in that type of situation. Okay. I can't say the word. Okay. But on, online, like, oh, I don't want to, but you know what I'm talking about. They do, all kinds of stuff can happen. All right. It's not about, um, you know, being insecure at all. So we can reduce the score for that. And I really like this girl, too. We're going to have to reduce the score by five again. Okay. Oops. All right. He's still probably going to beat the guys. So we ended up at 74. Let's see what happens. Let's see, let's something else happens. They bring him down even further. And that ain't me. Okay. <laughs> Any questions over here? Um, where do you live? I live here. I'm a local. I live here in Queen Creek, so not too far away. There's a little bit of a hike to get here, but I'm here, and I'm glad I am. <laughs> okay. Okay. We good, ladies? All right. So I am going to have you pop one of their balloons. Can I ask one more question? Go for it. Go for it. So you, you fist pump, so you live here? Yes. Okay. I live here. You live here? Yeah. Where do you live? Um, I live like southern Arizona, so it's a few hours away from here. Are we talking Tucson? It's more southern than there. So Sierra probably, Vista? Yeah. How you know about Sierra Vista? Because I went to Fort Huachuca back in the day. Okay. So I know I know where that is. Okay. okay. Yep. That's where I'm at. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. You got your question in. Who we popping? Mm. Oh, dang. Okay. Why do you end up popping hers? I don't know. <laughs> There's no reason, to be honest. I just, you're very beautiful. You're Thank good looking. You have a great smile. Um, I just had no choice. I had to. There, there, there was no reason, honestly. It's okay. Okay. All right. <coughs> Let's bring you on up. Bring you on up. Okay. Any final questions between the two of you? Oh. I don't have any. Okay, okay. All right, so is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. And is it a yes for you for her? Absolutely. We got a match! Nice, nice. <laughs> I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Yeah, let's give it up. Thank you everyone for tuning into this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. If you're interested in being in any of our upcoming episodes, the link to the form will be in the description box below. Make sure you fill that form out if you would like to be considered and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And oh, so that's how people get on this show. Okay, I never watched the end of the show to see, to see that. All right, and y'all make sure y'all like her video, okay? If y'all can, go to her page. Arletta Mooley, as she's showing right there. Don't just watch my video now. Watch her video. Okay, or at least like her video. You already watched her video, but do watch your mom, but at least like her video. Okay, and uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's how you can get on her show. I missed some seconds. The men got killed again. All right. Well, actually, we beat the women because they were they ended up at 60 something out there the before. four. And we were at 70 something, but now they beat us. So now we're basically like um, tied. Okay, we're tied now, y'all. Since I've started doing these the scores that were top. So we'll see what happens next time. Okay. We'll see who wins the, 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 the um, you know, essentially the showdown next show. All right. Women have 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 us have uh have been up and now men are, and men have been up and now women are up. So let's see how this the showdown goes, y'all. All right. And I'm on the next show, I'll probably put like the women and men's score up so now I can see that. Okay, so we can have a history here. All right, thanks for watching. Your boy, your boy Brother Winston. This show isn't that inter interesting when it's people that are just like, I don't know. It's interesting, but it could be, you know, you have more controversial people. The show is more interesting. The one guy with the hat on, you know, he was kind of interesting, but 
I don't know. This is an okay show. I gave it a 7 out of 10 compared to other shows. All right. Six and a half out of 10. All right, y'all. Until next time, it's your boy. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it. Thanks. I'm out. Peace.